That is the closing bell on what has been a brutal, gut-wrenching day on Wall Street. After a morning free fall, stocks fought part of the way back, but the Dow Jones still wound up shedding nearly 600 points. Hi, everybody. Glad you're with us tonight. I'm Darren Kramer. I'm Ann Nybergen. Craig is off. A market crash in China set off a worldwide ripple effect in the global markets, and it was a wild ride on Wall Street. In a 10-minute long span after the opening bell this morning, the Dow Jones plunged one thousand points. There was a bit of a bounce back by the closing bell, but the news for most Americans is not good. In the last week, the average American 401k lost $6,000, but over the last five years, that same account is up 61%. The experts saying the thing to do now, stay calm. Look at the Great Recession, 2009. Those who bailed on the market in 2009 lost half of their money. Those who stayed as tough as it was to do, made all that money back in three years. Experts agree we've been down this road before. The best thing to do for investors is to stay put. All right, here's where the numbers sit as of the closing bell today. The Dow Jones finished the day at 15,871 after losing 588 points. NASDAQ dropped 141 and the S&P finished 59 lower. Bad day on Wall Street really affects all of us. Of course, it can be so stressful to think you may lose some of the money you've worked so hard for. So News 8 went out today to talk to a financial expert to ease your feelings. Yeah, we want to make sure he answers all your worries. And we told you to write your questions on our Facebook page, and a lot of you did it. So we got those answers for you tonight. News 8's Noelle Gardner live in News 8 Control with what she found out. Noelle? Darren and Ann, there's been a lot of anxiety over the volatile stock market. We talked to a financial ex expert who's answering your questions and has some advice on how to stay cool during a stock market quake. The volatile global stock market is not the best way to end the summer. It's been a roller coaster ride for the markets, and at one point, the Dow was down 1,000 points. While things are looking better, some investors are panicking. I think everybody's worried about their investment because inevitably it affects real estate too. If you own real estate, it's going to affect your real estate no matter where it is. In a shocking move, the Chinese government devalued its currency. Bob Porter, professor with Quinnipiac University, says that move is making Chinese exports cheaper for U.S. buyers, stimulating Chinese exports, but it's also stimulating U.S. imports and competing with domestic goods. News 8 viewers are asking questions. As to what extent does this thing in China um, multiply our risk? China's impact on risk is the competitive factor. Uh, to the extent China becomes more competitive, the U.S. has a harder job competing with them. So that'll, in effect, slow economic growth. Should I be thinking more closely about investing right now? Yes, I think it is a good time to invest. Um, your um, returns over time are going to average, average out to be a, a pretty solid return. Uh, the basic U.S. economy is certainly strong. Here are eight tips on how to be a smart investor. Create a diversified portfolio. Don't put all your eggs in one basket. Allocate your assets based on your risk tolerance. And find a money manager or buy a mutual fund which is staffed by money managers. And do your homework on the individual mutual funds you will invest in. Remember to review your allocations on an annual basis. And invest your money today. A dollar today will be worth more than a dollar in the future. Plus, set up an investment program and put the same amount of money away every month and increase it from time to time. Finally, don't overreact or worry about the ups and downs in the market. Yeah, Darren and Ann experts tell me people should not panic and that the U.S. economy is in pretty good shape. If you have money, you are better to invest it than sticking it under your mattress. I'm live tonight in News 8 Control. Noelle Gardner, News 8.